This is what remains of the Grand Chepok Palace, at one time home to the Nawabs of Arcot. Who were these Nawabs? Around 1692, when the Mughals had expanded deep south, they appointed a local governor called the Nawab of Arcot. His territory included a large part of Tamil Nadu. Later, when the Mughal power declined, these Nawabs became independent rulers. The British cleverly allied with these powerful Nawabs. They lent men and money to fight the Nawabs' wars, at a price, of course. The British demanded exorbitant fees for their protection. With every battle, the Nawabs went deeper in debt. They even began borrowing privately from the individuals of East India Company at sky-high interest rates. The British waited and watched, and when the Nawabs were most vulnerable, they demanded their pound of flesh. The Nawabs were left with no choice but to surrender large tracts of their land to the British. Soon, the British were calling the shots. They declared that if any king died without a natural heir, the kingdom would pass on not to the next in line, but to the British. In 1855, the 13th Nawab died without a son. And just like that, the British annexed the entire Carnatic region. They evicted the family from the Grand Chepok Palace and abolished the title of Nawab. As a small concession, they gave the nominal title of Prince of Arcot to the patriarch of the family and moved them to a more modest palace nearby, the Amir Mahal. His descendant lives there today and that is still the official home of the Prince of Arcot.